I don't normally post personal things here on TikTok because I like to keep my private and my personal life separate. But after the tornadoes that happened in Kentucky, I feel like I have to. I was lucky enough that I still have my home, that I live in a different part of Kentucky. But the area where I grew up, where my grandmother lives, where my cousins and my aunts and uncles still live, weren't so lucky. This little area isn't getting talked about a lot. It's the town of Bremen. When I was a little kid, there was not many people that lived in Bremen. And as you can see, it's scattered various different parts. And as we zoom a little bit on the outskirts, which is still in Bremen, is a farm. It's my grandparents' farm. My grandfather built all of this by hand and farmed it and commercialized it. <clears throat> Here's the view of the street. This first barn here that's white with the reddish looking door, that's the cattle barn. We don't have cattle anymore, but when I was younger we did. Next to it you'll see this building here. That was our milk house. We didn't do dairy cattle, we had beef cattle, but you had to have a place to feed the calves that didn't have a mom. Maybe their mother died or rejected them. And then this red barn was our horse barn because my grandfather was very proud to breed uh, quarter horses. And then you can't see it from there but there is the main house and behind there was another barn um, that they used to store stuff. This building over here, uh, the white one, was our boathouse um, where my grandparents used to uh, feed their catfish. And then they had um, a tenant, a work hand, uh, that lived here and that was their home. So you get the idea um, that this was a, a substantial kind of farm. This is what's left of the horse barn. And also what's left of the milk house. This is what's left of my grandparents' porch and garage. This is what's left of all of their trees and, of course, the cattle barn. This is my grandmother's car and house. This is what's left of the back barn and the boathouse. And if you notice that the trailer that was living next door is completely gone. The good news is my grandmother and my aunt who was living with her survived. And the family in the trailer, in case you're wondering as well, I reached out to his brother and he said that they were okay as well. His brother, his wife, and kids are okay. But there were so many that weren't so lucky. Stay safe out there, Kentucky.